Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to a, another vlog. It is currently Tuesday the 18th. I nearly said 11th, that was a week ago. It's Tuesday the 18th for evidence of May. Which means it is two weeks today that we would or should be leaving for badminton. If you watched last week's vlog, you will know that unfortunately... Banksy was a little bit off games with mud fever at the time of filming and at the time of editing the vlog. Um, I was taking him to the vets that afternoon because that was last Tuesday, that was the 11th. And I just thought I'd give you guys a bit of a real time update because unfortunately it is looking like we are still out of action and not going to be going to badminton. Um, I have been quite upset about it. I have taken a little bit of time off social media just to uh, process the thoughts and the emotion a bit myself um, but that primarily is because the mud fever escalated quite quickly and he then had cellulitis I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly again as I said I've owned banks for nine years this year and he has never had mud fever or cellulitis um, we're a week on. He had five solid days of box rest to ensure it all stayed clean and dry because we had horrendous weather last week. But it then brightened up and the swelling was still quite significant despite, sorry, there's a fly on my wrist, despite having steroid injection, antibiotics and anti-inflammatories. And unfortunately, a week later, you might not be able to tell on camera, but this is ex extremely puffy and sore still you can see in here like I said still very pink still very sore still well I say very sore it's a lot less sore than it was because he's happy for me to touch it whereas he wasn't a week ago however the swelling and like I say the camera's probably not going to pick it up but the swelling is still extremely evident down this leg all around that joint and then a little bit down this leg too so we are back to the vets this afternoon to see whether we can up or change the medication and just to see what route we go from here. Obviously, we are 90 odd percent. I don't know how percentage percentages work with regards to veterinary treatment, but we're 90 ish percent sure that it is purely the mud fever stroke cellulitis that is causing his discomfort, swelling, unhappiness, etc. Although he's a lot chirpier in himself today, thankfully, because I absolutely hate seeing him miserable and sad. Um, but obviously we have been doing quite a bit of jumping, quite a bit of fast work, quite a bit of fitness prep prior to the mud fever escalating. So there's just that little bit inside me that is making me think, what is, what if it is an injury as well? And that is why the left is so much more swollen sorry mate than the right so i'm taking him up there we're gonna get a couple of vets to look at him whilst up there and yeah we will take you along with me i will obviously film as much as i can without it being too intrusive to the vets doing their job correctly um and yeah i'm feeling i think now that i've pretty much 99 percent made 99 percent sure i've made the decision that we will not be going to badminton because it really has been taken out of my hands i'm feeling much better about it emotionally wise because over the weekend i was yeah a bit a bit of a mess if i'm honest i couldn't really talk about him without getting upset and i think now because he's perked up as well it's making me a lot happier because over the weekend he was very grumpy very subdued and very unhappy but since being back out and being allowed a bit of turnout now that the ground has dried out a bit he's a lot happier a lot more in himself and I was hoping a lot less swollen but unfortunately that doesn't seem to have happened yet um so he is my pride and joy his welfare is my main priority I am going to obviously check with the vets because initially he was given the steroids the antibiotics and the anti-inflammatories but he was only given three days of antibiotics one, because it wasn't too hideously bad, but two, because 
if you do compete, there's a withdrawal time in which you have to have the medications out of the system prior to competing. So I'm just wondering whether he does actually need a stronger dose of antibiotics or a longer dose, not stronger dose, longer dose of antibiotics, which would then mean that we wouldn't be able to compete. But last week we had to try the lower dose, hoping that it would cure him in time for us to possibly compete. It was really, really hard last week because in all honesty, you had to get your entries in by Tuesday midday and my vet appointment was Tuesday, two o'clock in the afternoon. So I did take the chance and get the entry fee in, the entry in, the entry fee as well. Um, and then ever since I've really been kicking myself because in my heart of hearts, I think, I know that without a run and without him being his 100% jolly, happy, bubbly, keen to work self and obviously with the swelling and the soreness he is a sensitive chap like me then I think I did know in my heart of hearts that I wouldn't be going but equally I didn't want to almost put excuses in the way and make excuses for not going just because we hadn't had a run I wanted to be confident and brave enough to take it on and do it even if it was going to be our first run just to treat it as like fun and enjoy the fact we actually qualified and to get there and to ah oh, gonna start getting upset, upset now to enjoy riding on the prestigious turf is what I was going to say. Um, but as I said, and as you all well know, his welfare is my top priority. He was prescribed the three days, all right, sweetheart, good boy, the three days antibiotics. Um, but I'm thinking that maybe, obviously I'll speak to the vets when we get there, but maybe five, seven, ten. I don't know how long they get them for, but maybe a longer, not stronger, dose is going to be required just to get this cleared up and fingers crossed there's not the chance that it is an underlying injury as well but we're going to have a full lameness check over whilst we're up there this afternoon I've asked them to also x-ray his back legs because he is 16 now we do all know that he's had a fun and enjoyable goodness knows however many years eventing with me um touch wood again he's never actually had apart from bruised soles anything wrong with him and I feel like I really shouldn't be saying this right now um but yeah I say he's in his prime age isn't necessarily on his side at the moment when it comes to healing I think as much as he's fit and well when you are that little bit older you take a bit longer to heal so we're going to get everything checked and yeah if he needs anything doing or if he needs longer downtime then of course that is what he shall have I will stop doing my intro now. I've actually done it on my phone because again, it's like my comfort blanket when I'm feeling a bit meh and a bit unable to vlog or talk to the camera. I go back to my old school way of doing it and pick up my phone as opposed to my proper camera. And it is a little bit breezy today, so you might not be able to hear me that well, but fingers crossed the iPhone 14 is doing its job. Like I said, he's a lot perkier and that's the main thing. We just need to get on top of his soreness and the swelling and then pray that there's nothing else underlying that's making him unhappy and swollen but yeah I feel like I've repeated myself quite a lot in that eight minute long intro let's get up to the vets see what they have to say and yeah try and remain optimistic about hopefully getting back out of vending at some point this summer but it is most definitely sadly not going to be our year at badminton is it boo I know I feel for you because you deserve to get there you did Oh, don't shake your head. You meant to nod your head to that. Right, let's get this lorry sorted and get to the vet. Sunshine Zam Zam. Mm -hmm. Okay, Jack is coming around back then. Round back, take him round. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Thank you. Good boy. 
What would you recommend to carry on just that um, flammazine? Carry on putting that on his legs or leave them bare now? Yeah. Don't roll. Okay. I don't think you realise quite how heavy your head is. <laughs> so, my reason for getting Banks x rayed in his hocks even though he was completely sound, was primarily because my old horse Good Buddy boy, did thanks. sadly go lame with hock arthritis at the age of 14. And as I've been worrying over the past week, I've just been, yeah, being really paranoid and just thinking that he's going to have the same issues. So you have to be a exact distance away when you're taking that shot, do you? Yeah, set up I did primarily do it purely for my own peace of mind, just to know um, that when all the swelling is down and his skin is healed, that we can just crack on, providing his x-rays are okay. And yeah, I'm really, really super pleased and relieved to say that Before thankfully our, they are stroke sort of work. Lines of our joints. Yeah. And here's the edge of the joint. So yeah. quite often we see sort of spurs of new bone growth around those, yeah. these edges. It can be quite pinchy. Um, don't look like there's anything much there on these. Zoom in a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, because it goes like white and fuzzy or something. Yeah, I remember you, you buddies. Yeah. Little little things here. Just done. sometimes they. Yeah. I've, I've seen one before with things out here. So is this the first one you did? A right leg. It's there. Here, clear joint spaces. Yeah. Um, so I'm not too bothered by that. And then go to the straight on view. This is our dorso. God, it's a complex joint, right, isn't yeah. it? Mm. Yeah. Lots of little bits. Yeah. In between, so tarsal, metatarsal, central, and then tarsal tibial joint up there. Um, so again, looking for straight lines, clear yeah. there, nothing around the edges. Yeah. All looking pretty good. Lovely. Nothing funny sticking out anywhere. And then our obliques. So we've got our dorso medial palmar lateral, or plantar lateral. So that means the back of the legs on the inside. Okay. That's what I know. The back of the legs on the on the outside. So shooting, sort of Diagonal. looking from yeah. the opposite side across to that leg. That's the front of the joint here. So uh -huh. This is the outside edge. Yeah. Just those joint spaces there, and that's looking fine. Nice round there. Come on, you! Up, up! Up, 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 up! In you get! Good boy! The vet's very kindly made me a cup of tea. Oh, I better open that window for you, haven't I? Because it's warm. Um, for whilst we're waiting for Banksy's sedation to wear off he was a very good boy having his x-rays and i'm pleased to report that he has lovely healthy joints so that's definitely a good feeling and a good vibe and good to know that once all the swelling and sore leggies has recovered we can crack on and get back to being fitter than ever but for now i've got to go and pay a very hefty bill <laughs> But he is 100% worth it, especially for the peace of mind that I have achieved from doing the x-rays. You say you don't want to get in trouble, that you don't find cause you got me. I don't want to break your little bubble, but you gotta wake up to reality. Cause I can see. We have more drugs up until the end of the week that we need to give you, don't we? You can't have them yet because you need to wait for your sedation to wear off a bit more before you're allowed to eat anything. So I will take your bowly bowl out the way so as not to tease you. But you're a very good boy, very tired. You were about to do a really big yawn, yeah. Very tired from that sedation, but such a sweetheart. Good as gold to have his x-rays done. Obviously, like I say, he was sedated, which kind of helps. I wouldn't want to be putting those machines in and around behind a horse's back end without sedation. So it's all gentle. 
without sedation so it is for the best and thankfully he didn't have too much so you are coming around relatively quickly aren't you yeah my precious boy mr sensitive like your mummy so the vets have said like i say medication up until the end of the week in the hope that we get that last bit of swelling and soreness down but thankfully it's not anything for me to have to stress or worry about too much you can't have that you'll have it later in your dindin what are you doing you've been jealous too oh yeah i do feel like that is a huge relief and i am very very glad i took him today because i have been massively overthinking over worrying and yeah automatically thinking the worst haven't i banks purely because of how tender he was and also how it didn't seem to be getting much better but equally as the vet said i see it every day whereas charlotte the vet who hadn't seen it for a week was like oh my goodness that looks so much better so yeah maybe i am just being slightly too precious but equally i'd rather be that than be the opposite end of the scale so yeah i'm glad we went like i say i'm a fair few hundred pounds lighter but i have the reassurance of knowing that one i have made the right decision not to attend badminton regardless of whether he is back in work within the next week or so or not having had 10 days off <laughs> yawny yawny um yeah having had 10 days off having not had a run and just not being able to be in his prime fitness i just would never forgive myself if anything happened to him so i can't put boots on him so i wouldn't ever take him jumping without boots on and yeah i just think i've been in limbo this last week it's been eating me up if i'm honest 100 percent honest it has been eating me up i've had sleepless nights and i'm stressing about something that hasn't or didn't even worry me that much last year about getting to so the fact i did qualify for it yes was mega was brilliant and we had a fabulous day out at bigton or three days should i say at their three day we thoroughly enjoyed doing that and hopefully no doubt we will do it again this year but it's not the be all and end all for me to get there, to compete there. And his health is the most important wealth and my priority. And I just, yeah, need him to be right. There's no way I can try and rush him now over the next two weeks to regain the fitness. And I just think my head wouldn't be in the right space now either with having had so much worry. I would just be thinking, is he okay? Isn't he okay? Is he sore? What's he doing that for? And I just need to get him back into work once the swelling's down, back into work slowly. But know that I can crack on with jumping and avenging because his hockey hocks and his back end is looking fantastic. He said he's got extremely good joints for an eventer, which, yeah, is so reassuring to hear and well worth paying the money to find out. I did say what happens now, like, what do I do? Do I get the these checked yearly or... You know, how do I know when and if he does? You suddenly picked up and gone a lot more alert. Yeah. How do I know if and when he would need it? And they said, with being how sensitive that he is, he will tell you. And I thoroughly actually agree with them there because we all know he is like his mummy. He's a little bit dramatic. He's a little bit over top. He's very sensitive. And he does let me know when things aren't right, aren't you? Like the other day when he was holding his leg like, Mom! It really, really hurts. And we know now why it really, really hurt. Because not only was there signs of mud fever, but the vet today said photosensitivity. And that's why now going forwards, no nibbling, whilst there's a lack of hair on his legs and it's very, very sore, he's to be in by day so that he's out of the sunlight and then out by night, providing the ground is dry enough for him to be out. So we're going to have to switch up your routine in by day and out by night but that's absolutely fine by me whatever he needs he shall have and yeah i do feel like an absolutely huge weight has now been lifted blinking bad timing but it is what it is there's no more tears being cried over it it can't be helped it can't be changed and as i keep saying time and time again at the end of the day his health is my biggest priority he is my pride and joy, and it's nice to know that despite him being 16, he has still got many years left in him yet. And we will 
hopefully maybe have the chance to qualify again or equally we might set some different goals i actually would quite like to aim to jump a newcomer's track like cameron keeps encouraging us to so maybe that will be something that we'll aim for by the end of this year because it's always reassuring to know as well the majority of show jumping that takes place is on a surface because we know that your front legs can be sensitive on hard ground too can't we so yes i'm gonna stop blabbing i'm gonna go over and out um i didn't want to say too much about photosensitivity because if i'm honest i don't really understand it myself but we're stopping the flamazine i'm going to go out in a minute once i'm sorted and get some 50 factor 50 baby sun cream um because he said if he is out or being ridden or stuff in sunshine put that on on his white sensitive areas so his white skin up here which i found out is dark coat underneath but on his legs is pink coat underneath which is why it's so sensitive um yeah you learn something new every day off to get some baby sun cream and edit this vlog quickly because i'm hoping i can pop it out tonight because i've had so many messages on instagram asking how he is and sending well wishes that i feel i owe it to you guys to get this update out as soon as possible um like i said huge relief off my shoulders knowing that i've made a decision a little bit gutted i will admit but no more tears are going to be shed it's just nice to know that he's okay he's gonna be okay and yeah hopefully we've got lots more fun-filled years of enjoying each other ahead of us gonna go and get this sun cream guys so i'm gonna love you and leave you thank you for watching send banks lots of speedy healing well wishes so that this last bit of swelling and soreness can disappear for good and yeah i can't decide whether i will go to badminton to support stroke cheer meg on obviously i'd love to but it kind of all feels a little bit raw at the minute so i will decide nearer the time i think if it's lovely weather like this <laughs> <laughs> and it means I can have a nice few days holiday in the sun, then I probably will. But if it's vile weather and it's windy, rainy and disgusting, then it's very, very likely that I might well just stay here and look after my pony and not leave that to Robbie to do. Hey, can I have a proper kiss, please? Because you've had me and worried lots over the last few days, haven't you? You have indeed. Can I have a kiss? Kiss, kiss. He says no. He says, put your camera down, mum. Put your camera down. Give me snuggles. Do you want a bit of a, do you want a massage? Would you like a massage, your lordship? Let's get his massage pad on. That is a good idea, isn't it? Yes. Over and out, guys. Again, sorry if you had already got tickets to come and support us. Uh, I do apologise. Um, yeah, it can't be helped. But I do feel reassured now that the decision is made that I can stop umming and ahhing and having sleepless nights over it. So gonna stop repeating everything 10 times over and out thanks for watching and yeah hopefully we'll be back in action very very soon but for now <laughs> bye from us <laughs> do what you do, just keep on doing